is there a difference between um, structural engineers or they also fall under this category of civil engineering? Okay, when, I think when we go to the university, mm -hmm. the training that we get is very broad based. Okay. So a civil engineer will have all these three fields. They will do them and they'll specialize as they get out. Mm -hmm. And when you also start practicing, you generally you will move into in any of these fields. Okay. And that's where you'll get your expertise and continue. And when you come to us for registration, you come with a, a project that meets our standard, that indeed you have the rigor and understanding of the field mm -hmm. for you to be registered. So you, you will select one of the three. Okay. Those are the three categories that, we've been, uh, that we have in, uh, under civil engineering uh, discipline today. Mm -hmm. But uh, engineering is, of course, also dynamic and responsive. Um, but we have also had now many other branches outside of the civil engineering. And uh, I think that's where I, I mean, we have electrical engineers who yeah. we work with, of course. Um, they are those, I think they have, uh, t uh, we have uh, mechanical engineers, mm -hmm. they work in manufacturing, they also work in building services, because there's also a lot of uh, mechanical, uh, um, what, what you call, facilities that you require even within a building. Yes. If it's air conditioning, mm -hmm. if it is your, f and, and, and that kind of thing. So All we right. have quite a number, and I think uh, telecommunications is a bit new. It is uh, uh, coming under the stream of electrical engineering and broadly we are starting to move. We've had very few medical, uh, biomedical engineers, but we are glad, I think, there are some universities that have started teaching that, mm. and uh, it's an important field. I think previously we've been having that as a, a technology, technologist, uh, technici technician level, but now we're starting to train biomedical engineers who then can design for you and maintain and const uh, the, the you know, equipment that you need in the hospitals. So it's a broad, broad, broad field that we're moving into. Okay.